Danger. So, so I was really Danger Field. I was Ooh. Rodney Danger Field. You're ruining the punchline. Sorry, 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 sorry. Anyway, so it was this guy named Rodney Dangerfield. No, um, so no, it was it was about this comedian in like the '40s, I think, yeah. ma maybe the '50s, who um was uh doing the club circuit for a while, uh, and 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 he was pretty funny, but he was like fairly unlikable. Yeah. Like most people didn't. Did, he, most people said that that he had a very un unpleasant personality, and so was his. He was never very successful as a comedian. Yeah. Um, and so what he would do is he would come in and he would sell jokes for five bucks a piece. Yeah. Which I don't know how much that is in nineteen fifty dollars, but it's. That you know, sounds like a lot. But apparently you would spend like like lots and lots of money on these joke books back then. Like nobody would do original material back in like the early fifties. Yeah. They everyone would do each other's material or like vaudeville shtick. Yeah, because well, like, the people didn't record them back then. So yeah. Yeah, until they started putting out comedy records, that didn't really happen. Yeah. Um, and, and some people also, like, had this idea that they would do original comedy, you know, or comedy about their lives rather than just the same old jokes. Yeah. Um, but uh, anyway, this guy was coming around, and he wasn't very popular. And then um, he had to quit because his, his he was, like, all into comedy, but his, like, wife didn't want him to go go out all, every night. Yeah. So he ended up quitting, and he would just sell the jokes for five bucks or whatever. He would go. Yeah. And, um, and then... Uh, uh, he then ended up getting involved in some activity where what he would do is he would go door to door with a bunch of other people who would also go door to door. Damn money, you communists. <laughs> communists love their fucking money, don't they? Make sure you hit it before the timer runs out. Um, but so he would go door to door and he would find people, they would find people that need like uh, handyman work, yeah, and especially older people. And then they would grossly over like charge them and like say, Oh, you gotta replace the stutters on this and get some new granges. And then, and then they'd go and they'd fix some stuff and they'd leave other stuff broken and they would basically charge them a ridiculous amount of money, yeah. Um, and and then the guy was like, You know what, I'm, I'm gonna get back into comedy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm going to go back into comedy for a bit. Uh, but he got arrested by the, I think the FBI or something like that for like his illegal activities. Yeah. And so when he got out of prison, he was like, well, I, I can't go in with the same identity. So he found that there was a common joke name that people were using in shows, which they would always, I think it was on the Jack Benny show or something like that, or the, the Jack Parr show or something, yeah, where they would, re Jack. they would refer to uh, a guy as being Rodney Dangerfield. Yeah. And he was like, I'm going to, I'm going to call myself uh, Rodney, Rodney Dangerfield. And, and so he started using his jokes that everyone liked, but as this character called Rodney Dangerfield. Yeah. And that's where Rodney Dangerfield comes from. Huh. He's not a real person. So, but what about... What about that, that's, what, Rod, well, that's Rodney Dangerfield. He's not real. But what about that, the dog? The dog version of him. Is well, he real? Well, Rodney... D d d d d Dogney? Rodney Dogderfield? I, I, I'm trying to remember the pun they made on his name. <laughs> Rodney Dogderfield? <laughs> Rodney Dogderfield <laughs> is, 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 like is, is fully real. Uh, who do you think you're dealing with? Little Red Riding Hood? No. Which really sounds more like a Wagner. Uh, uh, Va yeah, like Wagner Dogderfield is oh, real. That ninja is so sad now. He's like, I, like, I can't put up. Uh, I haven't been programmed to go to another level. I can't handle it. Um... That's no, really cool. That's interesting. Uh, my son is crying, but my wife's taking care of it, so it's all okay. Yes. Yeah. I don't think uh, they can hear it on the recording, but if you hear a distant crying, it's probably the children in the game. If you feel a hear a close up crying, that's oh, probably. Oh, God, Blue Ninjas. Blue Ninja, Blue Ninja, Blue Ninja, go. I wonder if they take three hits. It's so we better. Plus. I'm going to run out of money and time. It's I'm so this is sick. So great. Look at. Look at this, these fat stacks. I'm not gonna make it to this game. I never beat this game before, so I don't much of, know much about it. And it's definitely like a memorization or die game. Yeah. And the timing is like so needle point on for like every enemy. Well, there's only two more redheaded bastards left in this level, so. Yeah. But yeah, your your kid watches some stupid cartoon. About yeah, yeah. Stupid things. Uh, uh, the younger audience members may know about this, but I kind of doubt it. Oh, because people with Netflix. Yeah. Um. It, it's called um. Paw Patrol. Yeah, and I know it from Toy Stores. Yeah, so, but, but, um, but the way he says it and the way my other son, my younger son calls it, makes it sound exactly like it's Papa Troll, like a, like a troll who's like somebody's grandpa. Yeah. Like, like, like a Smurfs thing. And so for the longest time, he'd be talking like, I want to watch Paw Patrol. And I'd be looking it up. Sorry, kid, I can't find a show called Paw Patrol. And he was like, he, he would think that I was like, come on, you fucker. You need to go for the next step, I think that makes it a lot easier. Um, 
uh, he would think think that I was just messing with him because yeah. you know I do that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, fair like like fair fair dinkum fair fair, fair fair dinkum fair dinkum yeah. <laughs> just keep just going with it. Just just go with it. It's it's an Australian expression. It's, uh, didn't you know that I'm Australian? I know that you met an Australian. I, I'm a lot like uh, Obama being a secret Muslim. I'm a secret Australian. Oh okay. Oh, I'm a secret Australian. <laughs> look look look! You got another kid. You made oh there's a ninja hiding behind the fat man. <laughs> oh for fuck's sake. Like that's definitely one you have to memorize. Al yeah. Although when you clear them, they don't come back. I think those guys. So that's yeah. that's the saving grace. But the ninjas come fucking back. That's fucking the dangerous. ninjas and and stabby dudes. We'll always come back. We're always in the shadows. We never die. We just didn't vanish for a little while and then hide and wax all mustaches. But there's a uh, so so I, so there's like five or six dogs. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. And one of them is like a girl dog. Who, so 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 each dog represents a different career that kids like to buy toys for, right? Yeah. It's it's a Marketing thing, yeah. and so, so the like assassin. Unlike um, all the cartoons we had as a kid, right? Well, they all actually were mostly assassins. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, but okay. So there's like a police officer dog. There's like a the firefighter dog that just pees and everything. The, the firefighter dog actually continually stumbles on things and falls over. So you're not half wrong, but uh -huh. you're the other half wrong. Okay. <laughs> um, and then there's like a uh, there's a firefighter. Half. There's like a recycling slash garbage truck dog who seems to be like uh, a, a little bit unclear exactly what his job is, but he's in there a, a bunch of times. Yeah. And then there's like the dogs that are so then there's uh, a girl dog who flies an airplane. Yeah. Uh, she's like a some sort of air rescue dog. Um, her name is Sky. I remember correctly, um, and she's pink. Yeah. And course. I'm like, and she, so she has like the, she's like the only female character, at least in the first cup, first season, right? Yeah. And so she doesn't have any like it, it's so typical, quasi feminist these things, just that that she doesn't really have any like physical things to do. Yeah. You know, she flies a plane. She's not in that many episodes, but whatever. They have a pink dog. It's a girl dog to to uh, appeal to girls, and she flies a plane. Planes are cool. Not not really a big issue with that. Yeah, pink doesn't really have a lot of physical strength because she's a girl dog. Um, not that girl dogs have any less strength. I don't know when many say types of girl dogs besides that. Besides the fact that they're all a bunch of bitches. Woohoo! Woo anyway. Oh, my my points are glowing. I think I I think I. Oh, oh you got an extra men's. Yeah, an extra menzies yeah. because I'm a girl dog. Yeah. Girl dogs have one extra menzies. It's true, they do. And this ninja, fuck him. It's like fuck him. I don't mean sexually, by the way. I mean, like, cause harm. So now I have a phrase Kegel stand stuck in my head, so I want to thank you for that. Kegger stand? Kegel stand. Oh, Kegel stand. Yeah. Why Kegel stand? I don't know, because I started thinking of... Why uh, can't I get past this level? <laughs> I'm so... Hey, um... Uh, is he going to come back? Okay. Yay! <laughs> Oh god, Sorry. red ninjas! I, I'm really focusing. The, there was like no ninjas in the previous le level, and this one has three different color swaps of ninjas. Get, get up, get up, go in. Is, is go that, in. am I done? Yeah, you're done, just go in. Wee! <sighs> you beat a level! Oh yeah, you also had your superpower you never used once. Yeah, well I'm saving it. You gotta save it. For what? What? Ah, scuba ninjas! Also, I like you how you just assumed you, you died because you touched water. <laughs> I'm like, death water equals death. <laughs>